Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the ABS show coming to you straight from New York City. Thank you once again for tuning into our channel. Please go ahead and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And after the show, go on Instagram and follow us at the ABS show. Welcome to the month of December. Happy hey. holidays! Woo. Feliz Navidad! <laughs> hey. As you can see, we are already in the holi um, holidays um, um, spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. How's already where's, feeling? Where's my present, Charlie? Oh, it's somewhere, but I can't show you I right now that because you're on TV. That you were talking about. Oh, that I'll, I'll right show there. it to you later. Oh! How about that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's dig into um, today's topics, sure. okay? I don't know if you guys heard this, but there's issues going on in Nigeria. Oh, All right. oh, you know what? Why you looked at us, though? What's so, again? Daddy Freeze calls out a pastor for mm. building the largest temple mm -hmm. in the world in Abuja. Okay? I don't you know if you... the largest temple in the world. In the world, yes. So, so the largest there, temple in the, the world is in Abuja. There's the la they have the largest church, but this is the temple. I don't know what the difference is. But I think um, the largest auditorium. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. Mm. Okay, so Daddy Freeze nice, is yeah. one of the most popular personalities in Nigeria. I follow He's him. a light-skinned guy. Mm -hmm. mm. You follow him? I follow him. Mm. He's one of okay, well, fans. listen up then. Um, he's known for being vocal. Absolutely. Yep. Politics, mm -hmm. um, when it comes to politics, religion, everything, social yes. issues. And he called out a pastor because they are building this largest temple, <laughs> I know, in Abuja. Mm -hmm. So the pastor heard it and he wasn't pleased about it. So he clapped back at him. Ooh. So basically, Daddy Free said that it's a waste of building, it's hypocritical, Absolutely. and he's not here for it. So the pastor said, <clears throat> are you all ready for this? Hear this this is from Big Grandma. Uh -huh. He said, I heard some highly irrelevant, insignificant, mm. yeah. infinite testimony, hey. microscopic, <laughs> microscopic piece of material oh. yeah. that are only relevant for census purposes, oh, hey. my God. who only hang on the internet to talk against people. Oh. They have not achieved anything mm. and will never achieve anything mm. for life. What? So basically, he came for Daddy Freeze for criticizing him for building the largest temple in Abuja. Yeah. Whose side are you on? Daddy Freeze's, of course. Why? He didn't mean. Because Daddy Freeze <laughs> continues to shine a light on them. Spend and your, your, your participants in your church don't cannot really afford mm -hmm. to be given all these tithes for you to be living lavish lifestyle. Mm. Don't think there's just this temple that's there. This man probably has private jets. He has cars. He has mansions. He has women. Mm. You know, all of that. So if, if you're being a hypocrite, if you're collecting all this money from your participants for you to do things that are irrelevant, what does a church being bigger, how is that going to get you closer to the Lord? Because God is going to meet you wherever you're at. Mm. But you're yeah, building these huge ass places that's going to cost money, take money from your congregation. How, why, how about you use that money and give everybody for Christmas so they could pay for their hospital bills, mm. take care of school fees, take care of every other thing instead of you worrying about building a big church. How many churches are in Africa compared to factories and industry? Mm. How many? Every time you turn around the corner, but is whose a church? responsibility it, is it to build the factories? Mm. It's not the pastor's it's not the responsibility. It's not, but the, 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 fact that the mm. pastor can create infrastructure. There's, there's churches that have created working situations where you can, you can work within the church, you can work, you can do different kind of work. They've created those kind of things so they can create like livelihood because a church already is a money-making machine. Mm. Okay, so um, the pastor, right, um, in his defense, he said that the church, that dome that was built, mm -hmm. is to house um, over 100,000 people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that mm -hmm. you build, like, God blesses you based on what you have. So he built it for the sake of harvest. That in the case that when God, when you pray to God and God wants to bless you, he can fill it to the magnitude of, you know, oh, space that he has. Porn. Number one. <laughs> Number two, he says that, you know, um, the, the church would provide jobs. That um, mm -hmm. the Winners Chapel, or is it, is it Winners? Uh, Whatever. One of those big churches offers over 26,000 members um, jobs. Mm. And that his church is going to do the same. Oh. This is why I now have a problem with it. You're saying you want to create jobs. Mm. If you really wanted to create jobs, the money that you spent in, create, in building that dome that serves the purpose of just service, mm. Mm -hmm. you can use that money to create the, those uh, factories and industries that would mm. create more jobs, more jobs than 26,000 uh, 26, jobs for people, mm. for people to actually go to and, and work. If that is your excuse. Mm. And then harvest, what, what are we in the time of old? Is it Jesus' ah. jobs era? Harvest, the flood so is coming. There's going to be quail and, and manna falling inside the church or what? 
Come on, let's be realistic with Our things. Our pastors in Africa are so obsessed with mega church. Mm. They want to be the, the biggest. They church. want to have. They want to have the biggest church. Mm -hmm. But the Westerners that introduced the um, this, the Bible and Christian to us, you know, some of them have this small small church. Oh, ah. it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Boom. What are you preaching mm. to these people? And you have this big old temple in the middle of Abuja. What do you have security? Yeah. Do you have uh, um because I. This past week, I saw um, something burning in uh, Nigeria, yes. the airport. Yes. And there was no... In a, it was in Abuja. Yeah. There was no fire, fire people to quench it. Mm -hmm. It's like, you, you, are, you are just doing this for the name of it. That's it. Mm. That's, it. That's it. Priorities. Hmm. It's, it's messed up. Are you providing education, mm. health care? Let's look at some of those things first. Winning souls for Christ is great. Um, mm. It's great. If that's what you believe in, it's great. But also healthcare is also important as well. Mm. Education is also important as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you are a leader in the community. Think about stuff like that as well. But yeah. this, is, this is just too You're much. Right. Absolutely. You're right. Um, all I have to say is that, first of all, the response he gave to Pastor, to Daddy Freeze, mm -hmm. just shows that he has a, a very myopic sense of reason. Very, very shady. Because if you are a man of God and you are a real pastor, that's not the kind of response you give to somebody who is coming against you. Mm -hmm. huh. the, the, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Mm -hmm. hey. That's yeah. what we say, right? Course. So yeah. if you are a prophet and people are attacking you, you're supposed to treat it like a prophet. Mm -hmm. But in fairness to him, he said in creating this church, why they were building this church, at least ten to 15,000 youths had money in their pockets. At least ten to 15,000 youths were able to fend for their family because they used the youths of the church to build the church and they paid them for mm. their job. So that is something. So run out of the church is built, what, what happens next? Mm. Let's, let's look at the size of the church. Mm. The, so, the church is the biggest, fine. But the church still is full to the brim, which means that the people actually needed a place of worship as big as that. Uh -huh. He's a pastor. He's a man of God. His goal is to build the biggest temple. Leave that for him. The government people that are supposed to build the infrastructures. You don't expect the pastor to use his money to build, um, for example, um, what will I say, Le any factory that has nothing to do with him, that is not part of his goal or part of his dream, but he can only empower the people. You can come to him with ideas. You can come to him with help. Perhaps they build schools. Perhaps they're sending people to schools. My only problem with all these pastors is that their schools are so expensive that even the common man and the people attending their church cannot afford it. But don't come for a man of God when he's building a house of God. Hmm. This is his own. This can condition. never happen in How Rwanda. Many Remember, we are we going to have in in Nigeria? As How many, many churches? Let me tell How you. How many churches? Do you know we, can, we don't even have electricity to feed Nigeria? That church is going to take all of our electricity. Wow. Well, that's not and my in in Lagos, there are seven churches on my streets alone. That's small. Only in Lagos, seven. Mm -hmm. seven. Before you get from seven. here to the main junction, there's seven. Now you're not continuing from to the extension of my street. I don't even know how many is on that side. Only seven. In Lagos. Do you guys remember what happened in Hamburg. Rwanda with the president churches, when yeah, 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 he yeah, shut yeah, down yeah, most of the church? Yeah. You guys need Paul, Paul Kagame mm -hmm. in Nigeria right yes, now. But this would not happen in Rwanda. Um, that Fritz also made a point that is really, really important. Mm -hmm. He said Walmart pays two million salaries a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen pays over 500,000 salary. Mm -hmm. Singapore, that is only three years older than um, Nigeria, mm -hmm. has the world's largest ship building factories. He's making a good point okay. as to we should invest in other things as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you mentioned the fact that people got paid while building this church. After that, what are they going to do? Right. Yes. Well, the church has know, already I'm been built. Saying. What else? I'm not so, on his side. I'm just trying to come from the other yeah. side. The well, other then side I'm the giving you reasons as to your other side is wrong. Daddy, because, please. you know, teach them skills. There's a saying that if you teach a man... To fish, mm. she fishes for life. Mm. Yeah. So let's think Absolutely. about that as Daddy well. Daddy drew, he drew awareness to the fact that other, the other countries are looking towards making... In, um, enlarging their industry in the industrial sector mm -hmm. so that they can produce more and even e and export. Exactly. Like um, I think is is it, is it is it Uganda or is it um, Kenya? One of these countries is planning to um, build what they call it factories to to manufacture to like That's process it. mangoes yeah. and export. Oh. Which is something that. This are, these are things that Simplistic we have, but nobody is trying do. to do that. They want to keep opening churches because that's money makers. They can line their pockets properly on tax line line too, because tax church money is not tax. So they will line. They use it to wash money to money laundering. Mm. A lot of things going on. People just use church to cover face. That's but it. what is going on underneath there? Ask this man how he got the money to build this big dome. Listen, if there. you're a member yeah. of this right, church, right. comment below. Let us know yes. how the church is going. We have to move on to the next topic, Miss Fire.
What's yes, going yes, on? yes. So this happened in Uganda. Mm -hmm. In Uganda, an overcrowded party boat sunk hey, and killed up. over 30 people. This is happening you? just like a few, like about a month or two months after 200 people died in Tanzania for the same reason. Wow. Wow. Yep. So apparently, they put vessels on the Lake Victoria without really um, inspecting them. Of not. They don't. They don't inspect them. They don't have them registered. There is nothing of that nature going on. So you just put a, a ship on the on the water, loaded with people, party time, and you move. A lot of the ships are always overcrowded. Hmm. They overload the the ships. They don't even make use of the life jacket. If you look at the picture, you see that none of, nobody is wearing a life jacket on there. Mm -hmm. They just there. I see the suya. <laughs> <laughs> I see the suya is being roasted. That's the one you see. Ah, then they share suya. Oh yeah, party party. That's yes, the problem now. we have a lot of people back home. Yes. So, so as big as Africa is, as the land big finish, you know, do them to party. Mm -mm. They went to party in the river. And everybody jumped in with that live boat. They and say fly. It, they say fly when they hear what they follow their body entire grave. Not be lying. Mm. These people don't listen. This is the, this is not the first. This is not the second. This is not the yeah. third. And this is not going to be the last time this is going to happen. But okay, my thing is this: accidents happen. We have road accidents, plane accidents. Mm. This happened to be. I'd rather have road accident than than see down accidents in the river. No, but if you can swim, then you can. You know, you even if you can swim, sometimes if, if my year, point. No, if my, you can swim, even if you can swim, it they're passing, so you know they're already intoxicated. Yeah. Even if you can That's swim, how much can you really do? Yeah, when you're when joke. you're drunk, your alcohol already makes you feel heavy. Uh -huh. Get that in mind. So when you're in the water, it's double the effect. That's yeah, why you tell yeah. you don't drink again but from I the water. But I know what happened. Is it because somebody was? Okay, so what happened? Is it because okay, it was so overcrowded? The then that's the news then. It's a, a combination okay. of things. Okay, number one, the mm. vessel is is a rickety vessel. Mm. It's old and shouldn't even be in the water. Number two, there are damages on the vessel that they actually welded to repair. Hmm. Number three, they have no license, nothing of that nature. And hmm. even when they, even when the incident was about, when they noticed that water was getting into, into the, the vessel, boat. they were trying to call out, but even the calling machine said, no, they work. Hey! Then, the PA number system. four, it was overcrowded. So all of that put together, and mind you, this thing, the, the, the vessel sunk close to the shore. Oh. Very close mm. to the shore. As a matter of fact, one of the people that came to rescue them was that um, he actually got drowned by mm. one of the people who was trying to rescue because the guy held on to him, trying not to, not trying not to go in, but he dragged the guy that came to rescue him down with him, and the guy died. Listen, I'm not, I'm not surprised that they don't have the mm. right license to run this boat or this cruise, mm. you know. A lot of people in Africa don't have the right licenses either. Mm -hmm. <coughs> our presidents, most of our leaders don't. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to fault them for it. But the overcrowding thing is really a big issue. Yeah, they, yeah, over they, they, they overload everything. True. The buses, mm. the, the boats, mm. planes. Every, if, you, if you give some, somebody uh -uh. small money, oh, oh, yeah, come on, no problem, yes. yeah. come on. Yes. But some you realize, mm. and you know our Nigerian women, most of you guys are heavy. This is Uganda. Hey, oh, this, this is you, Uganda. You, this is it? Uganda. Do not come for us. We don't even have our Uganda. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Listen, even in the elevator, when you go in the elevator, they have limits, okay? They have limits. It's all over. Look at the limit. If the limit says over 1,000 pounds, this is going down. Stop weighing people before they enter into the pool. Stop that shit, Charlie. Joke apart, what Charlie is trying to stress on is the fact of health and safety. Africans are very nonchalant to health and safety precautions. Very, one of my very good friends, Rick Hassani, is a Nigerian artist. Mm -hmm. He just went to Mauritius and he had a, a sold out show on a 2000 capacity venue. And he was mm -hmm. proud on, online saying that it's a 2000 capacity, but 2700 people were there. Mm. Oh, Mauritius showed me love. Yes, they showed you love. But if, if there was a fire outbreak, you right. know how many people would have died in mm -hmm. that place? Mm -hmm. Nigerians, Africans have to focus on health and safety. If mm -hmm. the capacity is five, don't make it seven. Mm. Don't call it bribe. Uh -huh. Five is five. Oga okay, bouncer. Oh, okay. He will not die because okay, the bouncer yes. now maybe he has died too um, now yeah. because of the extra owner of bribe. Exactly. Died. Yeah. A lot of people died. But um, you know, I was gonna say something too is that. If you are going to go on a boat party, please no, make sure that you know how to swim. My dear. No, 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 no,
way. Can you swim? So if we go on a plane, Thank we have to learn how to fly. No, no, but it's not. It's not you that. Have to, I don't no, understand where they get that principle from. But this is mine. This is mine. I think that if you're going to do certain things, you have to think about safety. Like with with flying, they do have the safety vest and everything right. there, right? If you're going to think, but if you're going to go on a boat, what that trip? Make sure you also when you're going on a trip, make sure you're kind of paying attention. Yes. You gotta pay attention yes. to things that are unsafe. That's what if something is oily, ah, maybe I don't go get on up. If it's too rusty, because there's been times when uh, one time this um, KK Marawa come and I was like, ah, if I get on this, something might happen. I'm not ah, going to get on it. Something will definitely happen. Something will happen. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we cannot live. <laughs> the we cannot live our lives so paranoid like that. I don't so know. if I'm going on a boat, I can't be stressed out because the reason why I'm probably going on that boat mm -hmm. is to release, is to decompress. Is, is decompress and all of that. <laughs> yeah. So I think that the, the thing is, we trust these leaders. We trust the captain. We trust the pilot. We trust them that everything that is on point. It's on point. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they have to they have to make sure that the exit signs are there. Mm -hmm. They probably didn't know where the exit sign was. Mm -hmm. So commotion is happening and everybody's, you know, yeah. moving yeah. left and right. So the, our leaders and those people. Let, have let to... me tell you, I got into one down for one day, eh? And mm -hmm. where I sat down. Me, I don't you know yeah, I can yeah, tell you I'm in Got into down for uh uh I don't notice Please, that. What is down for? Because yeah. I don't want to. He said the yellow bus is in Lagos. Tro -tro. Okay. Right? Know Tro -tro. That. Now I, I, I got into Tro -tro. What's Tro -tro? Tro -tro is Tro -tro. Tro -tro. Go ahead. I was in the downfall and I realized that I, you know, we were going, uh uh, something wet was touching my leg. I'm like, what is this? When I looked down, do you know that under me, when my leg was, was open. Wow. Oh! Yes, as we are driving. Wait, 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 wait. Your leg was dragging. Yes, so like pretty much, wow. no, like, wasn't dragging. Down. You guys said open top, right? Rusted. This is open down. <laughs> open bottom. It was open bottom. It was like, so the, wow. the bottom, bottom, the mud on, from the road was splashing on my leg. I'm like, what? When I noticed, I just said, driver. Please hold on, hold on. Guys, I said, I said, oh, wow, oh, wow, my bus stop, I reached my bus stop. Yeah. I came down. Uh, because you will just hear him going to Porto, Papa. And next to my seats will come up from the bus and they will crush me. Yeah. God forbid, bad thing. So, mm -hmm. in other words, when you get on vessels like this and you see the rustiness of the vessel, mm -hmm. you see that some things that will tell your body will tell you something is wrong. Your right. instinct will be telling you, this ain't right. Listen to your instinct and get off. That's because it. you never know what the story might turn out to be. Me, I don't go on any cruise ship. Anybody that knows me will know. If you see me and water, I don't yeah. play with it. Uh -huh. I, I don't go on cruise ship. I don't go on any boat cruise. Uh -huh. if you, I don't care what kind of That's fun you're having. So I will not go there. on boat cruise. You know why? <laughs> I don't know how to swim. Yeah. And I cannot come and go and die for something I can control. So, no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I think, I think one of the rare. most important things is also safety. Because when you, a lot of boats, Absolutely. like when you get on, they tell you where all the exits are. Mm -hmm. They tell you where the life jackets are before you before the boat kind of starts. And I don't think they're doing that in some no. African countries. So they need real to tell them. Clear. It literally, you have to talk about where are the exits. Where, and also, don't get panicked. When something happens, That that's what kind of hastens your death. Because you get panicked, you get scared. Like that yeah. guy pull that guy down into the water, you have to really just breathe and think. And if you're getting on something, just make sure you know. Because yeah. when I'm getting on a plane, I'm making sure and everything. And when you're on a plane, make sure you put your oxygen, your oxygen mat on for you first. Anybody yeah. else yeah. go matter. All we'll right, see. so we're going to move on to the next topic. <laughs> Glitz, what's what? going on with Roy Emanuel and WizKid? Yes, we're back in Nigeria. So Roy Emanuel, WizKid's um, bouncer, gets macheted at Jesus. Club DNA. Horrible. Mm. So he was at Club DNA. He's um, enjoying, enjoying himself. And then he got into altercation with another bouncer, MC, and the um, they were and the supposedly mm. the owner of the club was there within the argument they were having. They were arguing regarding Whiskey's death of 15 million naira, because mm. for two events, one for wow. eight million, one for seven million, Whiskey did not pay for his bottle service. Huh. So that's about forty-five thousand dollars, right? Mm. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. And the um, oh. boss said to him, "How can he afford to buy a Lamborghini?" If he can't pay his debts, yeah. his fifteen million dollar um, drink, and the bouncer said he's gonna when he comes here, he will settle you. He will be back in Nigeria. He'll settle you, and he he leaves and then comes back. And when he comes back, the guy, the bouncer MC, mm. uses a machete. They were fighting, and he used the machete oh, to attack goodness. him. Like the the cut was so. It was huge. He could have died, basically. But he was able to still maintain himself. They took him to a private hospital, and um, Whiskey then dropped a tweet saying that. Run, he said, "Run, we go kill you. You better, if you, you know what I'm saying." So, Whiskey has threatened the person that that's attacked his bouncer, Roy oh, wow. Manuel. That's a so, threat. That's a threat. Hmm. But the thing about it is, then the club then backtracks and says, "Oh, his death is separate from this. It was them having a own their own personal hmm. beef because they're trying to remove themselves from the whole situation. situation. Oh, the cop, the um, the police are looking into it and they're trying to find out what's going on. So, if it wasn't anything to you, why is this bouncer on the run? Right." What, is he was he doing something for you? Cause now he's in hiding and they can't find the guy. All of a sudden they can't Who is find on the, run? Which of the, the MC. 
No, not not Rhonda is in the hospital. Roy's in the hospital. Roy's in the hospital, okay. hospital but um, mm-hmm. the the, the, the bouncer, bouncer is on the run. And bouncer MC is on the run from this whole thing. So, um, the thing about it is that why? So in what the way, you are you saying that the fight started yes. because Whiskey couldn't pay? His fi- Whiskey for has his- not paid, has not settled his fifteen million naira debt. So what kind of money does Whiskey have? I'm not. This is not. What kind of money does he have that he doesn't pay for things? I don't understand. You don't pay child support. You don't pay for battles. What kind of money do you have that you don't pay for things? But you know, some stars come into a club and think they should not have to pay for bottles. Because I'm a star. I'm making your club pop. Why am I not getting my bottles for free? Yes. I don't know what kind of deal but they was have. But was that agreement made no, before was, he went in the club? Was made for him to you pay. know, this is what this is what happens mm-hmm. when you think you are the shit. You walk in thinking you're not going to pay for certain well, things. Uh, what do you have to say, What kind of drink are you drinking that is 15 million naira? Uh, but what, what are you drinking? Drink I'm drinking a whole house. house. What is that? What are you drinking? No, that's, Excuse that's me. That's you know nothing. how much water is in the club? And, and then the sun was $6. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me laugh. She won't understand. Don't shake me. I don't want to die quick. Don't shake me. Please, listen. You drink you drink 15 million naira worth of drinks. And then you think it's okay to just put that debt on a club owner and go because you're a star. How? Why do you feel entitled? Yeah, a lot of what makes that you think that, that you have that right? Because he's whiskey and he's so he, he's, hey, because now because listen, of you, this because why, you're whiskey, someone is almost dying. Almost, that's like almost dying. This is why whenever I get something, mm-hmm. no matter what, what, I'm on the ABS show. Though. People mm-hmm. see me all the time. Papa. They give me things. I'm on the ABS show. Thanks, you know. By the way, I ask them, is this free? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You have, you have to check who. There's yes, no, you don't need uh, anything back, right? Because tomorrow, Be- hey, evidence, they will change like, up oh, for you. Oh, you're going to attack your bouncer, right? So make sure. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to attack your bouncer <laughs> anymore. No, 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 but somebody's life is at stake here. Yes, yes. No. He's in a hospital fighting for his life. Horrible. Butchered with machetes. Why are we... the thing got this close to his face? He, his he, they brain. could have broken through to his brain and mm. he will hemorrhage and die. Nah. Now, is this because of loyalty? Ah, that's another question, too. Mm. That guy's loyalty is strong. Ah, it's cute. I need ah. a bouncer like that. That's a real one, man, because that's not going to happen for where we do. You go run. Yeah. So this thing <laughs> happened this past week. This thing happened this past week. Yeah, this past Why week. Why are the police not on this? Everybody needs to be... Arrested. They're, busy, arrested. they're busy catching the gay men. That's, that's, that's an attempted murder. <laughs> no, no, that's an attempted murder. No, no. Wait, something happened at the club. That's the club needs murder. to be shut down yeah. for uh, now. Investigate. Yeah. Let's yeah. look around the cameras. Where the cam- were there any cameras hmm. in the club? I bet Let's you they stop all looking into working. that. Please, police people. Uh, uh, hey. Please, our life is very like it's very serious to us. Mm-hmm. If it's not serious to y'all, mm-hmm. it's very serious to us. They all need to be called in or arrested. Yes. Arrest Everybody. the poor people and call in the rich people. <laughs> exactly. And I've been to club. I mean, happens to, that's what I've been, in Africa Charlie, now. I've been to club DNA and it's yeah. really expensive in there. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I was like, can I buy one drink? Can I get the margarita? They said, we don't dry, buy, you can't buy a single drink. You have to buy a bottle. I was like, ah, I have to buy a bottle. That but explains look, ah. why. So it's just like they're, they, that bottle pop culture. You know, it oh, also it's feeds. It's, the, it's, it's their own policy but there. It, but okay. even in America, if where you can't buy a bottle, don't call. But even in America, see, man, even in America, oh, where we have bottle bottle, you could buy yourself a, your own cocktail. Madam, don't no, even know that there's drink that's that's When you, call, you have a right. business, you open it to everybody. everybody. What kind of drink okay. are you drinking that is 15 million How many people, can everybody we afford Balenciaga? No, I can't. No. Balenciaga is not for everybody. Oh, Likewise, Christian Lebote. It's not for everybody. But I can still come in the store. She came in. I can look like they can sell it to Don't you told that, madam, we don't sell glasses. You Get out of here. You don't have money. What, what Get out of here. Get out of here. No, 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 no. But let me tell you. I'm not going to even tell on the boy. After that, the, 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 the guy that I asked for the he said, okay, but I'll give you, I'll go to the bottle popper section and give you shots. He, so he, he, told, like he you. told me the shots. He was telling me to do to 2,000, what was it? Oh, he was two, selling it to 2,000 two naira. Mm-hmm. He sold shots that to me on the pocket. side. Yeah, 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 that's why he said. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I think that the um, DNA, the DNA um, management is trying to backtrack because they, they don't want it to fall on them. But clearly there was a problem. There was an issue with Whiskey not paying this bill. And I just want to understand why Whiskey Kid, it's forty five thousand dollars, right? Mm-hmm. He makes about he made one hundred and sixty something thousand at yes, that Bollywood wedding. wedding. He just no, made thirty minutes. Six hundred thousand, 600, and oh, he cannot fine. pay forty five thousand dollars. No, you can't just judge. You can't just base on that. But but we are. See, Manny, it's but really we are. you got to be you good. Right. Not. All right, so so don't you pay your debts? I don't have any debts. Wait, right exactly. When you have any debts right now? I've been out with everything. is alleged. 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 Yes, everything is alleged. But then when the bouncer say you go pay him back if it's alleged. Listen, we all know, like you said, you said most artists always feel entitled mm-hmm. when they go to 
um, clubs and they feel like they're making a place pop for you and they mm -hmm. shouldn't pay for drinks. Mm -hmm. You don't know what agreements they had. You don't know what conversations. People change. Just like Charlie said, Charlie will always ask, is this free? Perhaps whiskey, because whiskey is on, uh, is around and is in your VIP session, they'll be sending bottles even mm. without him asking. They do that a lot. I yes, they club. do. They'll be sending, mm. they'll be using a, 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 what they call it, caskets. In all they will shot the music, wah, 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 just to make noise that whiskey is dead. At the end of the day, they'll not bring the bill, now they mad. Yeah. <laughs> Did he ask for it? He but didn't he, ask for but it. he was drinking it? He didn't but, drink all of it. Funny enough, it's possible he didn't even drink one. It's the crowd that around him drank. that drank we, everything. We, we, we know whiskey so you can't put the blame on him. But why did you say we can't judge because she was she was saying that mm. whiskey made a whole lot of money from yeah, performing but more. he can't pay you said we can't judge on that why not because you don't know if he really was aware that he had to pay for that drink okay. because they keep sending the drinks okay, I see so the how about as... his pr his public relations guy and his money guy handle all these things it's of all this baby mama drama, what drinks here, baby mama with owing money now. here. Now it's, now it's the same money matter. How they two it's the same money it. issue. So he should, he should have these people jump on it as opposed to his image being tarnished everywhere he goes. But do now we, looking do at we have kid, a, do we hold the bouncer I that? hand because you have all this money that's coming bouncer. in. Yeah. You're not spending, mm. you're not spending, you're not seeing the money outside. They'll be telling you, pay tax support, eh, mm. tickets mm. here, mm. Eh, drink here. Guy, handle your business, please. Ah, it's time to get home. I'm really tired of you not paying for stuff. But I have a, do we know the MC bouncer's face? or anything like that? I I was a DNA. I know oh, who, you know him. I know who the MC is, but I don't know if he's the same you. MC. Or, there's one main MC in that place. I'm not gonna mention his name, because but I know who the MC is for Club DNA because I was there, and you know he handed me the mic and I got on the mic and stuff. So oh, I don't know okay. if it's the same guy. Okay. And I hope it's not because you know he's a really cool guy. But I, I hope it's not him that got into that. Oh, because the reason why I was asking is that if we know him, we'll you know help out yet. and put his picture there since he's on the run. Okay. No, show. Okay. No speed, you don't want me to get machete. Charlie, hey! Charlie, you are wicked. Now you're you friend, are now. Wicked. You guys are sharing my so, we don't, so you don't want us to help him. The president's on the run. I'm trying to help. This is media. <laughs> so the political people can know. You guys are saying no. They are saying no. No, we didn't say no. I don't know who's... They say MC Bouncer. That's he wasn't Bouncer. Yeah. So maybe it's somebody different. Viewers, if you know MC Bouncer, <laughs> drop the picture. Yes. You know? Please, yes. yes. All right. So we're going to move... Drop the link. We're going to move on to the next topic. Timani, what's going on in yes, Ghana? Yes, this time around we are going to Ghana. Mm. And this is very annoying. Oh. I hope you guys brought your energy. Because we're about to put somebody right now. on the table. Uh, eh? We have fire to roll. Ghanaian ahead. comedian known as Comedian Waris. Waris this, that's what I call him. Mm -hmm. He received a very huge backlash recently mm. for making a very derogatory statement about Sakodia's daughter. What did he say? Sakodia posted a beautiful picture of himself and his daughter. And Comedian Waris tweeted saying... Sakode's daughter is becoming ripe. Very soon, we people will tear and eat. Disgusting. And then he put laugh out loud. Disgusting. People got mad. Trust me. So... Charlie got mad. Literati got mad. Timani got mad. Are you mad? What? Is he mad? He's mad. Great and it's five answer. How old is she? Five years old. What's it called? Five. Like? five year old. Five years old. Baby. Baby. You see? You see, when I tell you that pedophilia eh, is a thing, it's real. People this have... man in broad daylight on Twitter when they are talked mad. about somebody's daughter, a five-year-old girl being ripe and getting ready to be torn apart and eating. Hey. Are you mad? And he laughed Walrus about it. Or whatever you call his name. How dare you? What kind of dry humor is that? So actually, there were people that got mad. There was a lady on Instagram called uh, mm -hmm. Kafi Danku. Mm -hmm. She was upset, so she wrote a long note about it, which we're not going to read mm -hmm. because I don't oh, know how she's to a read. Media person. Mm -hmm. So she said that why is Sakode not saying anything about it because Sakode actually didn't say anything about it. But I mm -hmm. feel like at the level he is right now, he's he's at that level where even the fans' voice voices are big enough mm -hmm. because nobody found it funny. Not even one person oh, found that's it not funny. funny no. So Oga, Sakode is already is this? some people to, to beat him at his next comedy you show. You don't even need to go, go, go find out. his house out. Oga, so where is this? Uh, actually, dropped a 30 second apology video, okay. and, and to him that is enough. So I just want us to see the video because I need the viewers to he also looks, see what he said. Let me leave my daughter away from him. First of all, I'm deeply sorry for the tweet I made concerning Sarkodie's daughter. I am not a pedophile and then I don't encourage it. I'm very sorry for exposing the child to it and then I'll do anything possible to fight against it. Um, I'm a human. I, I am not perfect. I made a mistake. The tweet wasn't meant to actually cause that kind of harm, but it's rather unfortunate the tweet, the, the joke went bad. Just finish him there. <laughs> 
finish him. That you pedophile. I was like, wait 10 minutes, finish him. So that was the was apology. He yeah. even looked like somebody that they beat to actually do this apology. Yeah. So, so what do you I, I saw this on Fame, Fame Box, um, mm. Instagram. Listen, there's two things to this. I am a true supporter of freedom of speech. I like, I support freedom of speech. Um, I think even the hideous statement sometimes or the hideous speech needs to be protected. With that being said, you have to face the consequences as well. You can say whatever you want, all right? But whatever you say has consequences. And by their words, you shall know them. This man is disgusting. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. The oh, African, really? yes, the, the pedophilia culture exists <laughs> in Africa a lot. They see these young, young girls going to school in and out and they are watching them. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. You you know, you, have, you, know you always have that one neighbor, that one creepy neighbor. <laughs> that's always staring at your daughter <laughs> or your wife. little sister. Uh -huh. My and, small wife. <laughs> my yeah. small wife. Your sm yes, they, they call this disgusting. little girl yes. my small wife, my small girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting and a new day has come. Yeah. We yeah. are not tolerating this bullshit anymore. That's right. Absolutely. Anymore. Not on our you should watch. be ashamed of yourself. You and your, your dry ass skin and lips <laughs> on and messed up hairline yes. on even teeth. Go get... Listen. I, like, when I saw it, I was shaking. I was like, why is Sakwadi not saying anything hmm. right now? But I heard um, he apologized and Sakwadi forgave him. We are not going to forgive you, forgave sir. Forgave him. And I need, I need the neighbors of this guy to watch him very carefully. That's yes. right. Police people, security, watch him. Mm -hmm. Do not leave this man alone <laughs> with a little girl no. or a boy. Or a cat, or a dog, or a rat, <laughs> or a chicken. Oh no. my God. Because, you know, yes. I want to be yes. What, What's very disturbing is that you can hypersexualize somebody that's that young. And mm. this is a problem. I don't know what kind of sickness, what kind of mental illness, mm. what kind of special place in hell that I hope you are going to, that you will think that it's correct to open your mouth and put your face together and say you are going to unripen a fruit it's that so is that young. Are that. you mad? You're mad. I, I am so disgusted by these people. That's, that's, that's the one crime that I say directly to death. I'm sorry. You touch my child. Please make yeah. sure you kill me there because I will kill you. That's There's right. no need for court. There's no need for police. Right. We're going to attack you on site. Yes. The promoters in Ghana, I know it's December and you know we're going to have shows and stuff. Do not book this man. Yeah. 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 I got your back. Uh -huh. yes. You can forgive him all you want, but I'm not going to forgive yeah. this guy. No reward for bad behavior. What? No. This guy should not see the light of day. At no all. gig, no paid gig, nothing. None. No matter the apology, because this is disgusting. I have a niece, and I dare somebody to make that statement about my niece, talking yeah. about ripe. Have you ever eaten an unripe um, fruit? Your stomach will hurt, and you're going to yes. die. How about that? <laughs> and the fact that I'm he so typed, the fact this. that, you know, you were able to type that. Yes. You know, because exactly. it takes you, when, when I'm getting ready to, to do a status you update, check you are checking it, you are looking at it, yeah. so you are okay yes, to now. press send. You ah. wrote it, you put your comma. You wrote what you put it in capital letter. Uh, you put, you put smiley again. face. You put smiley face. You uh, went you back again, you edit it. You said no, to not correct you. Uh-uh. And and you it. It. it probably took a long him. time for it to approve because the internet is not even that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably took a while for yeah, you to so approve them, man. And, and, then, and, then he said, and then he said, very soon, we people will tear and eat. So what? So the people yes. 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 Yes didn't seem genuine mm. to me. It, it seemed a little bit like, oh, they're making me do this. Mm -hmm. My career or oh, my Christmas money is going. So now I'm going to apologize. Right. What I'm going to say for you that you need help. Go and talk to a doctor mm -hmm. about your problem because yes. there's something else going on. Yeah. Yes. You so, can't just be spitting out any nonsense that comes into your brain Kai, at this stage of your life. Years, Social media days. Some you people can say things and get away with it. And the only time you catch them is when somebody records it. And sometimes most of those I'm people are right comedians, now. and that's the thing. Comedians say the no, most I know things. Yeah. And yes, they do, they do, they do, and they think it's funny. Listen, jokes are supposed to make us laugh, and we are not do I, laughing. Do I, do I, yeah. Why is I'm laughing? Yes. There's nothing yeah. funny and, and about the, this. And the ratio of this pedophilia thing is too much. And it's like, I'm glad that we have social media now to show us some of these freaks. Right. But there's a lot of freaks out there. So make sure that you, like I said, I always say this. Remember to find out the places where you can get help or tell somebody, even if they're scaring you. Because people like this will continue to, to, to what is it, to harvest fruits but yeah. that they shouldn't That's be harvesting. That's a question, though, because reading his statement, yeah. he says, Sakura is it's becoming right very soon. We will tear and eat. What is the difference between what he, he said and what some of these men are doing in Africa? Where they go to your parents, pay bribes, uh, they pay money, Disgusting and wait until you finish school. Like, 
and then they marry you. It's just a disgusting. What to is me. the, is the difference? The difference is that, is that the, the parents of that family accepted you. Mm -hmm. they, 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 yeah, you're betrothed even like to young them. Or whatever. You're betrothed to That's them, but they can't young. even release you until you are of age. age. Mm, okay. But this one is social. This is this is pedophilic joke, whether we mm. like it or not. It's a I pedophilic think either joke. or. I think both of them are because if a man that is beyond is thirty or forty, thirty or forty years, <laughs> and he would be thrown to somebody who's five, five years old, yeah. and but they're waiting though. But they're waiting till she's fifteen. She uh, graduates at fifteen. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to stop this culture. That That's means right. the betrothing. Thing. That means the collecting money. I know it's sweet money, but you have to think about your child and their life. Because after that, you are ruining these these young women and these like you know you are ruining the children. Yep. Like how is this? And that's why the the, the behavior is repeated. Because if somebody's abused, they're more than likely going to abuse this somebody again. else. Yes. It's because yes. it's repeated behavior. You learn your behavior and you repeat it because you think it's right. This is where I say that a lot of this culture and and traditional values that we have needs to be amendment. They need to start having amendments for cultures and <laughs> traditions because a lot of them are archaic, a lot of them are outdated, a lot of them don't fly in this current and um, this they present century. Age. It doesn't work. You cannot right now talk about you want to marry a 12-year-old girl out to an old man, which is which happens rapidly in the northern part of, of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They would marry a 12-year-old girl, she'll become a child bride, they, it's still ongoing. All these things should be abolished. They are working on it. I think they've, mm. they've passed a couple of laws, but it's still in effect. My it's still people, like it's in, in the workings. I'm not going to tell you, the culture is there already. I don't want to tell you guys Africa. that. I was, when I was growing up, my, my father is from Niger, right? They mm. brought this person to look at me to marry oh, me up to somebody in Niger. Like I go that de like I go I go that desert to go and marry somebody. So Can you imagine? Like, no. I, I was about six years old. I was maybe my no, no, I was six. no 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 I was like four. What? Young. Like cause my they, the, the lady came and they came, both of them came with their, their hajibi. You know, they were full Niger women looking at me. I'm like, are they serious? They okay. go think they go no, I didn't think of that because I didn't but my mother like was like you you you, you couldn't be you couldn't be you kidding me right that you think you're gonna marry off my daughter at this time and you can't imagine that that happens and it's really it's like Arabic because you know I, I know Muslims don't be mad at me but um, Moha mm. Prophet Muhammad married Aisha his second wife was was she nine or six eight so can wow. you imagine that he Prophet Muhammad uh, you know the the Alpha and Omega of Islam married a child too so that's disturbing to me. And so that's why they think it's okay to do these things. Okay. No, but if it happened then, doesn't mean that it's okay for you to start doing it now. Now you know better. Now you're more enlightened. Now you know that it's not okay. It's not okay for a child who is eight years old, eight years old to have VVF. It is, mm -hmm. it is not right for a child to have to worry about her private part hurting. Mm. It's not right for me to want to go out and worry about what my child is doing or mm. who she's surrounded by. Because there are a lot of sick people out there. You know better now. So you've done because things were bad, things were done differently before. Doesn't mean it's okay for you to still do those things now. They were mm. eating people before. Nobody, the, people are not eating people and, now and because it's about, not right. Speaking about sick people, you know, it's the holiday, ha, um, holiday season. Mm. They're going to be flying in and out of the countries. Parents, ah. please look after your kids. Please, please your, You know, Check your little them. ones, the daughters, the sons, we want everybody to be safe, Please. okay? Mm -hmm. We love you guys for watching. Comment below. We want to know your thoughts on these topics. Until next time, you're watching the ABS show. This is Mina TV. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.